fireman generator carburetor adjustment that is what you are learning in this video from a to z i'm going to tell you how you can adjust your carburetor there's something common that all of us want we want to reduce our fuel consumption yet without compromising our engine efficiency it is possible for you to achieve this goal you want your generator to use laser fuel yet you still want him to work at optimum efficiency it is very very possible all you need is right adjustment on your carburetor this carburetor is for fireman and i'm going to tell you how you can achieve that there are several screws on the generator carburetor and if you know how to properly adjust this screw then it is very possible for you to reduce your fuel consumption we all know that there is fuel increment now in almost every country so for you to achieve fuel reduction you need to watch this video to the end please don't skip any part of this video and if you gain any vital point from the video share this video to others so that they can also learn let's start let's go there's this first screw here as you can see is this is one of the screws i'll talk about you see on every carburetor you will surely see the screw so i see the screw this very screw this very one this screw is here is a plastic and in most fireman is usually plastic this screw you use this screw now to increase the carburetor power yet it increased the power of the carburetor let us assume that you notice that the generator cannot carry as much load as you want you can see increase the speed of the generator increase the power of the generator by adjusting uh, by adjusting the screw let me do it for you as you can see as i'm adjusting like this as you go clockwise you are tightening as you are tightening you are increasing you will notice that the voice of the engine is gradually increasing it's increasing it's increasing however if you notice that the voice of the engine is too high you want to bring it down just come here and reduce it reduce it reduce it you go counterclockwise as i go counterclockwise the voice of the engine will surely come down that is the portion of this screw and as i tighten this screw do you know it's adjusting this flap it's adjusting this as you are tightening it it is like this as you are tightening it is doing what it's allowing to you are opening it and as you are opening what is happening more air is allowing to, to go into the engine as more air goes into the engine what's ha what's happened it, it increase the combustion of the engine that means that it's more air to burn more fuel so definitely the engine power will surely increase as you can see it's closed and open when you are adjusting this screw it will be opening this butterfly it will open it small small that is the adjustment of the butterfly here that is to increase the power of your carburetor now let's talk about how you can increase the fuel consumption of your engine come to this side in every generator in every gasoline generator with carburetor you always see this screw with spring look at the difference do you see there is spring there it has spring there this is the screw here this screw what in most cases the manufacturer allow it to 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 be loosed so so that you can regulate it the way you want as it is like this there is no doubt this generator will be consuming more fuel but you can reduce that how should you be about that you can tighten this screw as you can see you can use a small screwdriver you tie this screw down on t but be careful so that you don't cut it you don't break the bolt the screw you tie the screw until it reaches the end of the spring then if you leave it like that that means the gen can no longer work because the, the there is no fuel that we supply to the carburetor any longer what should you now do what you need to do is that you now come back 360 twice it is like this now you come back 360 twice that means you go like this one two 
But I only like to leave it in two. That's it. I go three six twice. I go like this. I go back, back, one. Then I go back again, two. So give me that 360 twice, which is 720. With that 720, you have already regulated the carburetor. Did I get it? And I can promise you there is not going to be any effect on the carburetor or on the engine. However, if you notice that the engine is now becoming hot because the fuel is becoming too lean, if you leave it too loose, too much, then what you notice is that you are going to have a kind of rich fuel, which is called the engine, to be smoking because the fuel is too rich. And when the fuel is too lean, what to happen? Sometimes the engine may not start or may not be frustrating or maybe not performing very well. So the fuel must not be too lean or too rich. So what you have to do is that you have to adjust it. If you notice that after your adjustment, the engine fuel is too lean, that is the engine is not performing very well, then you can still re reduce it small. You go counterclockwise a bit, you go backward. As you are going backward, you are opening the fuel more so that you, you, you get to a point that you notice that one, the fuel consumption has reduced one. And secondly, you also notice that the, fuel, the engine is working at a maximum power. So that is how to adjust the two important screws on your generator as a DIY. Whether you're a professional or not, you can simply do this. This is the first screw. You adjust, as you adjust that one, don't forget, it controls this butterfly. Why the second one? Now, this very one, the spring. This is the one that controls the fuel consumption of your generator. Then, this type of end, uh, carburetor, it has solenoid. Ensure that it, the solenoid is working very well. You can test it with, with, uh, with battery. It has two wire. Put one positive, put one negative. You test the solenoid. If the solenoid is good, then you, sh you should have no problem with your carburetor. But the essential part I'm going to cover in this video is how to adjust your carburetor screw for fireman. Hope you listened from this video. If you listened from the video, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. At least, if you are not do all, do one. Share, comment, like, or follow me for more. Thank you for listening to this video. See you in my next video. Thank you.